planes are approaching each other on parallel tracks. Each has a speed of 95 miles per hour with respect to the ground. They are, are initially in 8.5 miles apart. How long will it be before they reach each other? Alright, smart man is done his talking. Now let's look over our given. So, first of all, we have our known. And then we have our unknown. You never know what the British are up to. Anyway, now first of all, let's look at our known. So, first of all, we know one known. We know that the distance between the two is in 8.5 miles. We know another unknown. And that is their velocity, 95 miles per hour. So, that's our known. What is our unknown? Oh. Our unknown is not only the British intentions, but also we are asking, what is time? What is the time? Not the time before uh, the British do something bad, but the time before these two um, the trains meet up. They're on parallel tracks, so don't worry. Nothing bad will happen, hopefully. Uh, let's hope that one of the drivers has a license or something. But anyway... The distance is 8.5 meters and the velocity is 95 miles per hour. <gasps> Looks like we need a diagram. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we have the train tracks. So you have one of the trains over here. Well, because I'm an expert at drawing trains, okay? Hey, you should always trust me when it comes to your train problems. So I guess this is a train. Looks more like a bus, but hey, what can you do? Not the best green drawer. <laughs> it looks so dumb. But anyway, you have this train, and since I'm lazy, I'll just copy. Modern problems require modern solutions, people. So, you just do this, do that, and what do I do now? Um, uh, oops, turns out I can't mirror them. Alright, time to draw something completely new. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, we're almost done. And just put a cringy door, some windows, driver window, and we're done. <laughs> Looks so dumb. But anyway, yeah, the, this, might, the, this might hurt people with OCD because one train doesn't have a driver window. One does. These trains are 8.5 miles apart. But the question is, we know we must half the distance, and that gives us 4.25 miles. All right, we're good. But we also know the velocity is 95 miles per hour. Oh, this just became so easy, so easy. We know the velocity is distance over time. But that's not a T. Time. And then you know, we have to well, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And so we do something called, well, I don't know what it's called. I think it's something like conjugation or something. But you have T, uh, you have uh, V. Well, you are multiplying this by T over V because you want to have time. And you are multiplying this side by T over V simultaneously. All right. And so what does that give us? T V over V, that's T. So, when you're watching TV and your parents say it's bad for you, just divide it by velocity. Then you'll only have time. Time to watch TV. And then, that's equal to distance over velocity. And, well, it all flows out. But, however, if you cross multiply, don't. Because your parents are going to say you were watching TV again. <laughs> anyway, T equals V over V, which gives us 4.25 miles divided by 95 miles per hour. All right, and now after using the panic switch, we get 0.047 hours. Now that may seem very, 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 very tiny. Why? Because it is. That equates to about 2.7 mins, or 2.68 mins if you're a fancy guy. And that extends to 161.05 seconds. Because I'm a precise guy. So, um, it's not that long before the trains meet up. Who 
hopefully there uh, that one of the drivers has a license. You don't want them switching tracks. But anyway, that is our first problem for today. Thank you, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Sure thing, buddy. Don't get nervous when you see me, and please don't run. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.